and uh, welcome to this tutorial. It is about, uh, I guess, sampling. Uh, many people like import a sample, and then the you gotta mess with the tempo, and then you have to, you know, it gives you a chickmunk sound. I downloaded this template from MusicHeights.com. Um, it's more or less just a little test project or something, but it actually gave me a good idea about how to show people how to get that that chickmunk out of that thing no matter what beats per minute it's gonna sound good but I mean if you have the tempo up way too high or way too low it's it's really gonna suck and your chickmunk it will come out but um, as far as getting rid of that chickmunk here we have um, a sample Aerosmith don't want to miss a thing and basically, let me play this so you can hear the chick monk I'm talking about. That's pretty much what I'm talking about. You get that chick monk thing now. If you go to where the sample is, we'll start with the pattern two. This this is it. Breathing, breathe, breathing. You know, it's kind of stuttered out. But anyway, right here it says resample. What we want to do is if you're doing drums, you can do drums. Um, I'm not sure if this menu is showing up, but if it is, congratulations. But the first one will say resample, and then it'll say drums, tonal, slices slice map and auto what you want to do is put it on tonal this will stretch it and any time you change the beat per minute it will stay where we'll do the same thing with this one where it'll stay where the chickmunk voice will not be there so now the, when we play it after we've done that you get the actual song Not that hard, it's just a preset. And we can turn up the beat. You can turn up the beat. Let's turn up the beat. I'm saying you can go as slow as you want, and it, I mean, if you go too slow, it's going to sound like crap. If you go too fast, it's going to sound like crap. So you still are limited to where you want to put it, but the chipmunk voice will not come into play. It will not reset the pitch of the voice or the music. Still sounds pretty good, but anyway, you get the idea. So again, just go to where your sample is when you put your sample in. You might want to normalize the sample too, clicking here. Um, but as far as get rid of the check mark, that's all you have to do. Uh, go to this little toolbar and pull it down and go to tonal. That is it. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please leave a comment, a good one. All right. You have a great day.